Hey YouTube, it's Krista, and this video is going to be my um, Baby Buys So Far video. Um, I have waited to post one because um, I was really good at the beginning of this pregnancy and not buying anything because I didn't know what we were having. I knew if we were having another girl that I, I really didn't need much, um, so I was holding out to find out the gender of this baby and we're having a boy, so I've been able to do a little shopping since finding out. So, um, I, I haven't really bought too many clothing items because I do all of my kids' clothes shopping at consignment events, and I know I'll probably receive clothes as gifts. So I've mainly focused on um, things that I know that I want for the baby that people don't usually gift you or that are um, not really readily available, like at Target or places I might register. So I'll show you... Um, like the few things that I bought before I knew what we were having. The very first thing I bought was um, this fetal Doppler for at home. Um, these are usually I think like sixty to eighty dollars online. This is a Sunaline B um, fetal Doppler and I paid thirteen dollars for it used um, on a site like Craigslist for my area. So that was cool. I was able to hear um, his heartbeat I think at eight weeks was the first time I heard it. So the next thing I bought, um, I bought these like the day after I found out I was pregnant. And these are belly sticker designs. Um, you can find them on bellystickers.etsy.com. And what these are, um, I got them in, in gender neutral colors. But um, it's stickers with the numbers 1 through 12 that you just put on a plain white onesie. And take like your baby's um, monthly pictures for the first year. And this was, I believe, like $7. And I was excited to find that um, because when I was looking for, like, the, the onesies that are, had the numbers printed on them, they were a lot more expensive than $7. So, and I've got tons of plain white onesies I can use. So anyway, that was um, one fun baby buy that I'm looking forward to using. And then just a few days before we found out what we were having, um, Target had a ton of baby things on sale. And this was on clearance. This is a, a muslin sleep sack. It has little monkeys. I got it. It was gender neutral. It's from um, this brand, which I love. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I think it's Aiden. And I pronounce that name as Anais. I have a friend with that name. She pronounces it Anais. Anyway, um, I love their swaddling blankets and receiving blankets. Those are all I use for my daughter. And definitely going to be registering for those um, for my son. And she still uses them. Um, so hopefully he likes this and would get some use out of this. This is regularly $19.99, which I would have never paid for, like, a sleep sack. Um, but it rung up as $4.99 when I checked out, so that was awesome. It's a good deal. Um, okay, a few clothing things I bought. Um, I have some boy clothes. Shortly after, um, my daughter was born... Um, I saw like a, a posting on Craigslist where this lady was giving away a bunch of free boy clothes. So um, a lot of them were in very good condition, like Carter's brand or Target brand. So I have some boy clothes, um, and I've really waited to buy anything, like I said, until I see what I get from um, like gifts or uh, consignment events coming up. But I have, couldn't resist a few things. Um, this is a little onesie from Carter's. It's his little brother, and this was $4.99. I thought that was cute. Um, these were on clearance at Target. These are just little mittens. They were $3.48, and I use these all the time um, with my daughter, but hers were all, like, pink and girly, so I got him some little dinosaur mittens in blue. And then this is one of my favorite things. Um, my husband has a hat just like this that he wears like when he gets dressed up. And this is a little corduroy hat and here's the little like rim. Um, and this was on clearance for you can see that a dollar eighty and I just couldn't pass it up because I want them to be able to be matching. It'll be so cute. And that's why I also I got these. These were uh, like from a thrift store for like 50 cents and my husband has a pair of like um, exercise shorts or soccer shorts just like these um, so I thought that was really cute that they could be matching go team Astros 
So that was cute. And that's pretty much all I bought clothes wise. Um, the consignment event in my area is like in three weeks and I'm just holding out. I know I'm going to go crazy. So some other like random odds and ends. I picked up some um, gumdrop pacifiers. These are first year, zero to three months. I tried to sue these with my daughter um, and they just never stayed in her mouth very well. And she never ended up really using them because we had so many issues um, with breastfeeding at first that I was really kind of afraid to try and introduce something else to her. So hopefully we won't have all the breastfeeding issues this time around and um, little guy will maybe like these and um, won't depend on me so much for um, pacifier usage. Anyway, they were like $3 at Target. We got these for his room, the little um, plug protector things. I have some um, that I got off Etsy for my daughter that they were like hand painted to match her room decor. And I'm going to see, I mean these are just like the clear ones, I'm going to see if I can figure out how they did that onto hers and maybe do something like that for him. I'm not sure if I'll have time to mess with that or not. Then another awesome Target clearance deal um, were these nursing pads. I've heard really good things about these. Um, they're reusable silicone nursing pads. Um, they're regularly $19.99 and they were on clearance for $5.98. So that was pretty cool. I wanted to try them last time with my daughter, but I didn't want to pay the $20 for them. So I just kind of lucked out this time with that. So um, everything else that I bought for my son is all for his nursery. Um, decor stuff. So I will show you what I've got. Um, I'm not going to show you everything because that's just too much, but um, I'm going to stand up and show you the quilt that goes to his bedding. So this is the Carter's Treetops Collection quilt. And so obviously it's woodland creature themed. It's got the little owl, the squirrel, um, I don't know if you saw the bear, stuff like that. I really liked um, the browns and greens in this set, and um, there's kind of a little story behind this. I thought I was having a boy when I was pregnant with my daughter, and um, it took us over a year to conceive her. And one of the things that my husband did while we were in that TTC period was go to um, Baby's R Us and just look around and kind of kind of like wishful thinking and dreaming, you know, one day we'll be able to register for baby stuff. And um, we were walking down the bedding aisle and we both like saw this set at the same time and like looked at each other and my husband said, if we have a boy, I want that set. Um, he really liked the little fox. He thought that was cute. So uh, when I found out we were having a girl last time, I wanted to do something a little more frilly and she ended up with a ladybug nursery. Um, but I've never forgotten about this set. Unfortunately, it was discontinued shortly after um, my baby showers with Ori. So <laughs> I've been searching for this, and I finally found it on Craigslist in a different city, and they were able to ship it to me. So it came with the quilt, um, the bed sheet, the bed skirt, um, the bumper, two window treatments, and the rug, the matching lamp, and the, what else? Oh, a little whisk, wicker basket with a little squirrel on it. It's really cute. Um, and all of that was $125. So it's all in excellent condition, like new, gently used. So I'm so excited. I knew that was exactly what I wanted, and I couldn't register for it because it's discontinued. So I, I've been gathering stuff for that collection. So one of the things I was able to pick up was this. Um, this is a little raccoon wall decal that matches the set. Um, this was $25 on Amazon, and it was the last one, the last one Amazon had in stock. So, and no one else is, um, you know, going to restock these things because they've just been discontinued by the uh, manufacturer. So, it's happy to have this. Um, I think, you know little wall decals add a lot uh, extra to the room, like little characters. So I was happy to find that. Um, okay. 
Also, um, this is still in the package, but this is a little boa blanket with um, a bear that is similar to the one on the um, quilt. This is actually from the Forest Friends collection, which is another collection by Carter's that's, that's similar. It's um, woodland creatures. The color scheme is a little different, but cream and brown um, matches that. And my daughter has a boa blanket with ladybugs that matches her room, so I wanted him to have one that matches his room. So that's that, and this was $14.99 on Amazon. And this is also a pillow that goes with the Carter's Forest Friends collection, but it still, it still works with um, our theme. So this is just a little throw pillow with an owl. Hey, Ori. Little leaves on the back. You want to come up? Can come up? Hi. Hi. Oh, you want to get down? You want a cookie? <laughs> it's almost nap time, so we better hurry this up. No cookie? No? Okay. Um, let's see. I also picked up some little socks for him. They look like they've got, sh they look like shoes. Red, blue, green, and black. And I have another package of these. These were $5.99 um, from, where were these from? Burlington Coat Factory. Um, and this, uh, or I took it out of the package, but this is like a velour um, changing pad cover. And the cream will go with um, his nursery set. And this is Carter's brand. It was $9.99. Again at um, Burlington Coat Factory. And um, this is a Prince Lion um, heart cloth wipes warmer. And this I got used. Oi, hold on. Sorry, guys. <laughs> For $12 off um, Craigslist. Um, I don't think the person ever used it. I think they like decided not to cloth diaper or something. I always wanted one with Ori, but I wasn't going to pay $40 for a wipe swimmer. So I figured this time I'll try it around. Try it out. Just a second, lovey. Just a second. Okay, and one more thing I have for his room. Um, this is a laundry basket. The colors match his room. But what's so cool is that the handles fold down. Let me see if I can demonstrate this with one hand. Fold down like this. Um, and they become rigid and the basket like stands on its own. And then when you're ready to do laundry and carry it to your laundry room, it, it's like a tote. And they just pop right back up. So I liked that. That was um, 20 bucks at Home Goods, um, and we're going to be moving probably into a two-story house. So I figured if the laundry room is downstairs, having a tote would be nice. Okay, two more things. Um, I made a name plaque for him for his room, um, and I just got little um, chip decor. Like letters from Hobby Lobby, these were $1.99 each. Painted them dark brown to match, and then they each have little woodland um, creatures on them. So this one's got the turtle, which there's a turtle on the comforter. This one has an owl. This one has a tree. This one's got a little brown bear. And um, this one is a little green frog, and there's also a frog um, on the the quilt. So, spell that out. His name is Noak. It's um, Hebrew for Noah. And I'll make a separate video on why we chose that name and what all it means. But that, I think, everything, the supplies and all, um, totaled up to be about $18 for that. So that was um, a fun little project. I was in a crafty mood. And then the last thing that I picked up most recently was um, a bouncer for him, and I got it at Once Upon a Child. Um, I sold some of her old clothes that I didn't want to save um, and was able to actually get this for free. So um, this has also been discontinued. This is a, I believe the line is called um, Fisher Price Woodland Friends. Um, but it's just a little, like, regular bouncer, but I don't know if you can tell. 
It's got woodland creatures on it. Um, it's just a little vibrating seat. So it has the squirrel, raccoon, owl, hedgehog, little mushrooms, and leaves. So it's, it kind of fits in color-wise and theme-wise with what we've got going on in his nursery. And then it also has like the little toy bar with a cute little hedgehog and raccoon. So um, that was um, $18, but like I said, I got it for free since I was selling things. So that's all I've bought so far. It's kind of a lot. Um, but I'm excited to have like some of the expensive things out of the way for his nursery. So anyway, I'm excited. I'm having a boy. Say bye, Ori. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Talk to you guys later.